Using the EZ Viewer software, it's quite simple and easy to add cameras and monitor them anywhere in the world. So in our example, the fish tank from our uh, camera list, we can click and drag it onto a little square and the camera will just pop up and you can view that camera anywhere in the world. So that camera could be on the other side of the world and you can view it. And as you can see, it's quite fast and viewable. Also, it automatically searches your network and finds all the uh, IP cameras that you have. You can click and drag it onto your onto a little square, enter the password which is on the um, little ID card, click OK, and the camera will pop up in the list. We can also add it to the tree, so if we stop that camera now, and we add, uh, right a mouse and go camera list, and go new camera, we can give the camera a name, whatever we name we want, uh, the camera ID which is on your network little ID card that come with the camera, the password which is on that little network card, click OK, your new camera has been added to the list, we can click and drag it onto a square and we can now view it anywhere in the world. No port forwarding or any settings required in your router. As you can see, it just automatically pops up. We can also configure this to be a Wi-Fi camera. So we write a mouse from the auto search and enable web config. It loads up your web browser and you can click on the little network link. We can go to Wi-Fi and in here we can enable the Wi-Fi. The SSID is the name which is from the little network guy down near the clock. Uh, the Nest CCTV, the name of your network. So that's where that name comes from. The mode which you'll be using to connect. Uh, some people might not know how, what this is. So the easy way to do it is go to Wi-Fi scan. In here, it will go scanning for your around in your area where the camera is. We can just click on the, the name of your network, it automatically put it in for you, it automatically sets the encryption mode, uh, the uh, key down the bottom is the password to connect to this Wi-Fi network, so in our example it's just Nest1234 as our demo. We can then test to make sure that that key is correct by doing a Wi-Fi test. Wi-Fi test will go out checking, which at the moment the status is under testing, it's testing the uh, status, and a few moments later it will come up saying if it's successful or if it failed, and it comes back saying the test was success. If it comes back saying it's failed, you obviously enter the wrong password for that Wi-Fi network. Once we click save and apply, it's now connected by Wi-Fi now, so we can now unplug the LAN cable, so I'll now close the browser, disconnect from the camera, I'm unplugging the LAN cable now, and now when we click and drag our NES over, it'll now connect by the Wi-Fi, so it's now connected to that camera by wireless. So you should be able to now plug this camera anywhere in the house or in the building into a PowerPoint, no LAN cable required and you should be able to view this camera anywhere in the world. Simple as that. Viewing the cameras is also available on any smart device phone such as the iPhone or Android. Simply open up the app then check your network. You can then click on the little plus symbol which is up the top left hand corner. Click on that. Where you can then give the camera a name. We're going to call this fish in my example. We then give the camera's ID number which you'll find on your little network card that come with the camera. We 
you enter the password which is on the little network card as well which comes with the camera this uh, could also be changed as well which we recommend you do when you get the camera that should be all the settings required to set up this camera we click the done button our camera gets added we tap on it and it locates it handshakes and it should connect to the camera which it does as you can see the image there we can then tap on our other cameras and view them just like we did pre-configured the disconnect button stops the camera stream and you're done this can also be done on any Android phone as well as the iPhone and the setup is exactly the same thanks for watching